Jake Gibson science stuff. Yeah, science stuff. Brought to you by composting, nature's very own garbage disposal. Food, it's what we eat. It's what gives us energy, and it's what keeps people like you and me alive, like oxygen, water, or social networking. But sometimes there are parts of our food that we don't eat or can't eat, such as apple cores, orange rinds, or banana peels. So where does this food go? Uh, where? The garbage. Oh, right. Where does the garbage go? Uh... Well, that depends. Oh. Most of it goes to landfills. Land, 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 landfills! These are big plots of land filled with garbage from all over the local area. Gross. But the thing is, food waste, unlike plastics, metals, and other synthetic materials, break down and become what we call compost. Com com compost! Now, compost is decomposed organic material. Rich in nutrients, it doesn't need to sit in landfills with other things that can't decompose. It has other applications as a fully organic fertilizer. It's not garbage. It's compost. Hi, we're doing the compost today. We're going to teach you how to do it. First, you got to lay it, then a layer, then a layer, and you mix it all up. Richie, eat your crusts. See right here, this is my composting model of science. Let's take a look. If you notice, this is a map of our campus. It has many different things representing different parts of our campus. We have black pieces on the board. Those are parking lots or roads. The yellow spaces represent the buildings on our campus. Now if you look, there's not a lot of space and we would not have a spot to put a composting facility. So that leaves us with a problem. Where do we put our compostable material? Now we have come up with a possible solution to that problem. Let's go take a look. Because our campus is so crowded, we're going to need a space off campus to put our composting material. The problem is, how do we transport that compostable material? Well, let's take a look. Imagine these yellow ducks are our UNI trucks bringing food to the dining center. You see, these trucks cannot take out waste because it would be cross-contaminated and they'd no longer be able to transport food. So, we bring in a new truck to take the waste away. We have the yellow ducks, or trucks, taking food to the dining center. We have the blue ducks taking the compostable waste away. It's a cycle. Food breaks down on its own. However, if you leave it like it is, it takes a significantly long time to break down fully. That's why we need a pulper. Now, a pulper is like a big food processor that breaks down the food into, like the name suggests, pulp. Pulp decomposes significantly faster than just normal food. Hey, a pulper! Make it happen! Bread and butter or margarine, milk and cheese, meat and eggs, vegetables, and fruits. Those are the foods you should eat every day if you want to be healthy. Howdy folks, Farmer Brown here with my 100% compostable Browns fertilizer. And remember folks, if it ain't Browns, it stinks. Another great way to compost is using a dehydrator. You see, a dehydrator pumps all water waste away from organic waste into sewage treatment. That amounts to thousands upon thousands of gallons of water just like this swimming pool. Except it's not like one swimming pool, it's like a gigantic swimming pool that keeps getting bigger and bigger, almost never ending. All the water just sitting in the food is gone. You can carry so much more. I mean, you're swimming and a lot of money saved. Did you know that? People excrete far more of certain water-soluble plant nutrients in urine than in feces. Human urine can be used directly as fertilizer, or it can be put onto compost. Now you know. Well, that 
that's our show. Thanks for watching. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go make our campus a greener place to live. Sustainability rules! Beep, <laughs>